Am I good to go? Welcome inside the Canton Ice House. We've got 5.32 to go in period number two. My name's Colby Smith. Playoffs here in the JWHL in a 3 nothing lead for Naha, who finished their regular season 13-4. and The Pacific Steelers on the power play right now. Mallory Farrell in the last two minutes for a tripping call. That's going to get picked off and neutralized. And now took that freer. Going to drop back in her own zone. Now leaves this one ahead. Gets picked up as... Power going to come up the near side wall. Looking for a center feed. Fired and a great save. Is the penalty going to expire? So falls out of the box. And we're going to go back to even strength. Naha getting a short-handed call from Ali Cohen. As they've used three different goal scorers to come out to this 3 nothing lead. Obviously Pacific. Not a great regular season at 3-13-1. and one, But they've proved no easy foe so far this morning. It's tough to come out here and play an 8 a.m. game on a Friday. Not typically what you're used to. Is now how going to win the face off. Thrown quickly over to the far wall. Is Fredrickson going to tip it over center. Chasing back Pacific in their own zone. They're skating left to right in this second period. And Naha right to left. The Steelers in the red tops with the black. White numbers, white lettering. And Naha in the white tops with the blue and red striping. And they got the black numbers. Their captain's on the ice right now as well. Hidden Grace Tillich as they chase down behind their own net. To chase. And Pacific going to change up their defense. 3.30 to go here in the second. And a 3 nothing lead for Naha. Off a stick on the far side. Now back out and neutralized yet again. Side to side with the pass. And Brassard Bain shot off the board. Picked up by Morton. And now going to leave it behind. Cassidy Carmichael. To the left of her goaltender. Pushes this one ahead. Tied to the near side wall. Now getting some extra help. Carmichael. Hacking whack at this one. Trying to get it free. Keller has it tied up in her skates. Finally the puck going to come just a bit to the left. A stalemate, McKay able to chip it out of there, and it comes behind the blue line. Aha, uh -huh, gonna cut ahead. Is here Brianna Morton over center into the offensive zone. Back in the right wing circle, maneuvering in the high slot, and couldn't get that one through. She got it stripped aside. Out to center, a little settle down play. And now 2.38 to go in the second period, and we'll get our lone ice cut of the game before we come back for period number three here on YouTube. Taylor leaves behind her to her right, and now up the near wall comes Devlin. Cutting around in the corner. Low side of the circle, push towards the front and gonna hit the stick. The goaltender down there. And Kennedy Lonson. Lonson, the Brock University commit, getting a start in this game for Pacific. Trying to turn to their top goaltender. And this one left back beyond center. Again in front of the Naha bench, stretched back to the near side. Cohen has a hard time controlling. The pass behind her is this one going to go D to D with under two minutes now to go here in this period. Cohen can't get this one through. Scharfmeyer can't hold on as it's sporked ahead. Going to come off the top side of the wall is back down low. Skabinski chases and she'll throw off the wall. It's out to neutralize his Pacific bat play and chase yet again. It's their captain in Allie Lawler. 24 forward. As they do have four college commits on the roster, I already talked about Brock U, but they got Matty Ra going to Western U, Aurora Collar going to the University of New Hampshire, and Jay Freer going to the University of Toronto. Is in the high slot, shot through traffic, and it tipped off the glove. Onsen was looking to get a cover up and couldn't. Now Naha again going to go for not on this near side wall. Pushed off the boards, going to come down low into the corner. Carmichael looking for a lane to the sun, can't get through. Farrell standing up top, and now going to come back down low to help. Under a minute to go now in the second period. And out in front of the line, Devlin going to cut ahead. Left it off in the corner. Pacific able to pick right back up as they'll bring it out of the zone. Caitlin Tong going to cross center. Thrown over the blue line, and now the Steelers in the midst of a change. In the corner, back through the legs. Again, Devlin has this one in the corner. 40 seconds now to play. Hand over hand, trying to bring it up. Gives it away, though, in the corner. Tips off a leg, and now one-handed up is Kennedy. Going to bring two neutral eyes. Pass up as they lead the charges into the zone. Quinn Taylor's got it, top shelf. Drop feed back, and Quinn Taylor's going to go bar down, and it's 4-0 Naha here late in the second. Yeah. 
Taylor, the youngest player on this Naha roster. She's had herself a good season, tacking on a goal here. Now 4 nothing, and Pacific going to try to answer here in these last 25 points. set up there and run it from like an ethernet cord from that? No, they, they don't even have ethernet available. The lady said, I mean, it's a nice arena though, but it's not computer friendly. I know, I know they stream games, so it's got to work from somewhere. Yeah. Especially for Balmoral, the parents get on me. So we gotta figure this out. Yep. What Wi-Fi are you on? Yes. So not even something that's. Like
Welcome back inside the Can Nice Arena as we get set for period number three between the Pacific Steelers and Naha. 4 nothing lead for Naha as they'll skate from left to right here in this third period. Pacific going to go from right to left as the opening faceoff. Going to be Devlin against Collar. Collar going to tip it back here for Pacific as here we go, period number three. This one tossed off the wall as McKay can't hold on and quickly Naha going to race ahead with it. Down the near side wall, picked up in the corner by Dempsey. Down the far side, going to roll up behind the net. Shoved up the near wall, back of the blue line. Parton able to pick it off as McKay going to dish it off. Far side, back of the circle, collar drifts ahead. Now left out to the blue line. Forced off the glass, can't hold on in the circle. Is Devlin going to skate on in there? She can't hold either. To the wall, Tullet going to roll down low with it with already 30 seconds gone. And now she'll shove the pass to her left. One handed up the middle as Devlin on the backhand gives it away to Parton. Going to force it off the boards as Dempsey going to turn and chase back. McKay trying to hold on. But that'll be an offside first with 19.14 to go. It, it might need to move, I don't know. So it'll be a neutral zone face off coming up here. Is Pacific just to step into the zone too soon? Sydney McKay going to take this face off against Keller. McKay can't hold this one and now drifting back in the zone goes Kaminsky. She'll cut up the wall on the near side, can't hold as now the Steelers going to go back and play chase here in this 8-1 matchup. A 4-0 score for Naha in terms of how the regular season finished out as this one drug down to the corner. Trying to center up this one and a low slot kicking around and able to break out of there goes Cassidy Bank. She'll cut over the blue line, going to roll over center into the offensive zone, back of the left wing circle. Bank going to come in behind the net. Lays a check just to the left of the goal. We are going to get a penalty call coming up as the Steelers going to head to the power play. Trailing by four. After the check, laying down on the ice. Eighteen thirty-eight to go in period three and off under your own power is gonna go Cassidy Bank. It'll be a five minute power play for the Pacific Steelers here coming up. Obviously a little bit scary when something like that happens, but nice to see Bank get up and get off to the bench under her own power. But Pacific really gonna be looking to do some damage here on this power play. Trailing by four here early on in this third period. 
Nahas Vivian Skabinski was the one who laid the hit. She's not going to continue on as the penalty going to be served by Chloe Labisser, the 2025 grad forward. The officials are explaining the call to the Naha bench. Is obviously the check came a little bit high. So Naha can be short-handed. Little <laughs> Bisser being told to come out of the box now. So it seems like there's much confusion on who's going to serve this penalty. So it will be a five on four for the Pacific Steelers, but nobody's gonna have to go to the box for Naha as they'll leave the penalty box open. Face off gonna come to the left of the net and quickly we're right back to it. 18.35 to go in the third and Pacific on this five minute score at will as they chase back in their own zone. It's Matty Ray who drummed it up the middle and the pass got picked. Argerisky as that went out of play, so we'll get another face off upcoming. Again, we do wanna Tell you we got playoffs going on here all weekend long. Naha gonna have another game tomorrow. Same with Pacific. Both these two teams looking to clinch a berth to championship Sunday. There's games going on all weekend. Obviously a couple hours off today, a couple hours off tomorrow. But everybody's getting right out of here and getting into the action. It's the best time of the year. You love playoff hockey. Up the wall, Bargeriski gonna come into the offensive zone. Now takes a hit from behind and she's right down. Ray going to weave right back up the middle. She'll cut over the blue line. Going to cross center on the far side into the offensive zone and she'll leave it in. Chase to the near side wall by Drabisky. Going to drop it back out. Back of the left wing circle. Hand over hand. Trying to push it up goes Parton. A drop give and go play as that one went just past the net on the left side. And Naha able to get a clear out of their zone as the Steelers have to come all the way back beyond center to pick up. Sard into the offensive zone. Back of the right wing circle. Wines missed the net. In the far side corner, Joanna Zhu going to pick up. She works hand over hand. We're now 3.45 to go on this Naha penalty kill. The five minute major to Skabinski. And she's now out of the game. Getting a misconduct out of the ordeal. Parton inside the zone. Going to toss it off. Clips a stick and back of the right wing circle. Pacific having a hard time holding. Broussard going to shoot it in. Naha right back on it. It's a leg. And now going to come back to the middle. Just dropping it in her own zone. Goes Freer. Down the far board side. Going to roll in behind the goal line. Freer. Taking plenty of time down off the clock. Pacific team, they gotta work quickly to make up a couple of these goals here in this very cold, can't nice words, blue rink. Devlin. Skating around, gonna toss it off the boards. Back to defensive ice, side to side. Now left for Collar. She'll come up the left wing side, trying to leave it behind her, kicking around off a of skate again, gonna roll down to the corner. Grabbed up the middle as Quinn Taylor trying to break the other way. Up through neutralized, Devlin down the far wing wall. Back of the right wing circle looking for a shorthanded opportunity as she pulled up in the corner. Gives it away. And when I say pull up, I don't mean like the Chase Matthews on pull up. I mean she just pulled up holding onto the puck. Up the wall over center. Now McKay going to drop on back. The logo at center. Now left off. Ball to Sari, gonna go hand over hand. 
He's trying to connect with Freer, but instead it's McKay. Comes into the zone, left up the middle on the high slot to the low slot. Couldn't get a backhander off as Lawler. Basivich had a hard time getting anything on goal here since early on in that first period when they got a couple of primo looks. Freer behind the net with now under two to go on the Pacific five minute score at World Power Play. Near side boards again trying to get it out to neutralize. Down low to the corner. Top side of the near circle. Side to side with the pass. Collar is into the zone. Comes McKay. On the left wing boards. Gave it to Collar. Shot and a save. With 15.09 to go. So this Pacific Steelers team getting their first true shot of the power play. There's Layla Roberts standing tall down in net for Naha in this game so far. A couple of good stops. Draw going to come to her left. Pacific going to get another W in that department. Far side wall. Parton going to come in with it. Left into the corner is Grace Tullock, able to pick right back up. She'll throw it the other way, out of her center, racing down to get it in her own zone goes Broussard. Tied behind the net with a minute and ten to go here on the Steeler man advantage. Off the wall, now again chased down the wall, clipping a stick up the middle and couldn't get a shot off in the slot area. Naha trying to chip right back out to the blue line, up the middle and that'll hit a leg. Near side boards, part in, inside the zone, fired off, gets a high and wide. Is Joanna Zhu going to leave it on back out for part in? This power play group for Pacific staying right out here on the ice as they really haven't had a chance to sit and take a breath. In the near side corner, Caitlin Tong. Help from Stella Hong. It's finally the puck going to come loose to the far side. Paige Broussard with a center and look. Naha right there and able to knock that one out of there. This defense for Naha on the penalty kill stands almost like a 2 2 box. Two up top and two down low. And Naha being told to change by head coach Tori Ann Miena. And so they'll get off. The penalty inspires. And we go back to 5 on 5 hockey as the Pacific power play now 0 for 3. Back of the left wing circle, steered off the pads. It's off the top side of the half wall. I'm going to get back out through neutral ice. It's Pacific, back playing chase. It's Balesco, who tosses it forward. It's a stick coming again into the zone. Skylar Schaufmeyer down the far side wall. Pulls up along the boards. Can't hold on. 13 10 left. Naha with a 4 0 lead here in Canton. It's the playoff for the JWHL. Somebody's trying to clinch their ticket to Championship Sunday. All the bursts on the line for Championship and Semis. The Semis are going to be at 8 a.m. Sunday. Championship game will be at 10. Is this one going to come over center? Back in the high slot. Cutting on through. Couldn't get a backhander off. It was a great opportunity for Allie Cohen there. Would add her second of the game. It's been four different goal scorers for now. Cohen's goal was shorthanded. So he has had a special teams goal in this game. Side to side, Lila Bauer is cutting ahead, Carmichael in the high slot to the low slot as she couldn't get one off. Naha is having a hard time getting these high pressure opportunities from the dangerous areas as Fredrickson chases it down in the corner. Pinned to the wall, now getting some help from Devlin who's been all over the ice here in this game. Puck gets swallowed up, so the play gets stopped. 12 to go. 